Let's take a look at the printing options in Microsoft Excel 2019. Just wanted to show you here that we are in the Professional Plus version of 2019, as you see there. So let's go to uh, File, and let's go to Print. So we have lots of different options. So if we have a printer installed, we can go ahead and choose any one of those printers. We can also print to PDF or to OneNote. So let's go ahead and choose our brother printer. And when you see when you change the printer option, you see the options change for the settings as well. So when we switch from Canon to brother, we can see some of the options change a little bit. So if we take a look at uh, the settings here, we can see print active sheets. We can print the entire workbook or a particular selection if we want. So if we click a selection, we would have to select it first before it would show up there. Otherwise, we could just click on print on active sheets and there's uh, our first active sheet and you can kind of scroll through the different active sheets that you see there. The next option are the uh, pages. We can print uh, pages one through whatever it is, three, uh, if we wanted to do that. Uh, we could change it from one to two as well, but it doesn't really change anything here because our workbook are not considered pages. They're considered sheets. So let's go ahead and take a look at the print one-sided. And if you have the option to print on both sides, you'll see this when you hit the drop down. So if we want to do print on both sides, we can do that. And um, if we wanted to print on both sides and flip the pages on the short edge, we could do that. It doesn't really show you this on the right-hand side, but uh, that's what will happen when it goes to print it. We can collate uh, or uncollate. You can see the difference between 123 and 111, 222, etc., uh, between collated and uncollated. We can change the orientation. By default, it's set to portrait right now, but we can certainly change it to landscape. So if you like that better, we can go ahead and choose landscape. I don't think it looks as good in this particular case, however. So we'll go back to portrait. And we have the size of the paper option. So we have 8.5 by 11 as the default. But if you want to change to legal size, you can do that. And you can see the page gets a little bit stretched out. And uh, so you can certainly uh, choose that option if you like that better. And let's go ahead and change that back to letter. And then we have margins. So by default, you can see the margins that are 0.75, etc. If we want to go wide, and watch what happens when we change this to wide, we can see that the format changes a little bit. So whatever margins you like, there's narrow. Uh, that could be the option that you want. Now it's back to normal again. Then we have the option for scaling, where it says fit sheet on one page, fit all columns on one page. So you can see this really shrinks it down if we want to get everything into one page so we don't have to print multiple pieces of paper. So we have lots of different options here for that. Or we could say no scaling at all, and it'll just print on the different worksheets. So that is the, uh, the, that's the various different printing options that we can see in Microsoft Excel 2019. The printer properties themselves are also available here by clicking on them. And these are for the exact printer driver that we have. So some of these things uh, we've already seen, such as the orientation, uh, but other things might be different, such as the type of paper, plain, thin, inkjet, etc. And we can also change from color to black and white if we're saving on ink. So make it the way you want it, and if you need to change the driver, it will also change your options as well.